Yo, what's good everyone? It's your boy. Second video of the day, baby. Let's go. Today's video, Dry Tron literally didn't get touched. Literally, even a one does nothing. Because there's an official new way out of combo. Literally, this nothing happens in this deck. You still get six negate herald. Ava to one is literally the best way to play this deck anyways. I'm gonna showcase you guys exactly why. So if you guys like this video, just smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and also I want you guys to do yourselves a massive favor. The beautiful magician playmat will be available only for the next 48 hours, probably 43 hours now, because it's the second video of the day. So get your beautiful magician playmat while it lasts. This is a special commemoration for the boundless and the freedom of our double iris. Let's go. So it's time, baby. So for some beautiful dry trunk action to showcase you guys, literally the deck has been untouched. It's like the boundless did absolutely nothing. Let's go. Everyone and their mama know that Pemba's deck. It's just a fact. But does everyone know dry trunk literally went untouched? It literally went untouched. So I want you guys to stay tuned for this whole video because I'm going to showcase the new combo that dry trunk does to ensure that you still have six materials for your herald you still have six fairies and able to one you literally should be playing able to one anyways because it's a brick and it literally just did nothing at all to the deck uh this deck's absolutely fucking broken it's the best deck after pendulum and it's not close before you say why the fuck are you playing fafnir triff it's because of terraforming and you side deck into mystic mine so you want to waiver terraforming to search it anyways let's go straight into it and you already know the drill guys you already know the drill uh here we're gonna go we're playing prep and pre-prep it's just the best way to play it I'm gonna fast forward because this shit's boring as hell. I don't want everyone to see this. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go for a, a diviner here, not Idaton. But the whole idea is you want to get the herald as soon as possible. And if you look at this scenario right here, okay, I'm gonna go this. I'm gonna go this. I have herald in my hand. They know it. Like you're safe. You get Ava, and now this is what you want to set up, okay? You can do this so many ways. It's unreal. And obviously my hand's insane, but we built a deck to be so insane and so consistent that you could all. You'll always be able to find a way to do this. You set up Ava and Herald fast as hell. Fast as hell, bro. You set up Ava and Herald like really fast. Now, look at the hand. There's nothing my opponent could do from now on to save him. There's nothing he could have done before to save him. Even if he nibiru before, it just did fuck all. And I had a Herald in hand, so he wasn't even going to do the Nibiru. He'll just waste some card. This hand's fucking broken. And you don't want to use Beatrice to send Ava. In fact, you want to add Ava to your hand. You only use Beatrice if it's like mandatory. Idaton is not even mandatory in this, but it's still okay to have. So now we have the Ava and Herald set up in hand. And by doing so, it's the same equivalent as having four as Ava resolving on the opponent's turn by adding it to hand. Because when you go Herald Ava for whatever reason, you just add back two anyways. So having Ava in your hand for your opponent's turn is the best way to do this. So next we're gonna go Gamma. I'm just gonna go off here, get some extra plus here where I can. I resolve Benton like five times this turn. I'm gonna get a free draw. I'm gonna search for Herald of Perfection here. I'm gonna Dawn of the Herald. Herald, Diviner of the Herald is level six. Summon, I'm gonna go into Verte and bring this up. Now you look at this hand, and it's literally the exact same end board, uh, the exact same cards in hand to negate with, simply because of the fact that Ava could be sent from hand. So now when Ava gets sent from hand, you get two more cards to your hand. So you actually end up having six negates here, and it's Dark Ruler and Droplets proof, because you're still guaranteed if you go Herald and Ava to, to negate a monster effect, Ava will just add you another Herald and another Diviner. And then those two will just negate another monster effect. So even if they Dark Ruler or Droplets, even Sphere Mode, you're still safe. You still have double Herald effects on your opponent's turn. That's why Ava at 1 is the exact same thing as Ava to 3. It does, did literally nothing. You literally have 7 cards in hand after you Ava. Like, it's absolutely broken. So that's a whole a co new combo tutorial of this. Of course, I probably could have done it, done the actual combo slightly more plus, like very slightly, where I could have gone for Idaton earlier and resolved Fafnir to be gone, use one more time to loop it once more. That could have given me a Masquerina. Perhaps I could have done a little more for that. But the, what I wanted to show you is the main part of the combo, which is ending with Ava in your hand. That's what you really want to do. And that's the idea behind the combo. So uh, if you guys think that this is a fuck, the, the, the konami did nothing then let me know in the comments konami literally like respect to konami but konami made a mistake not like absolutely banning ava or banning benten it was a mistake it was a huge mistake now i'm gonna just show you guys the deck list i'm gonna show you guys two different deck lists this is the deck list okay extremely consistent now that you're not playing ava and another brick of herald you're playing and obviously i know you're playing dragoon but even if you draw one of them you don't care 
You can combo with three cards, two cards easily. So you're playing 10 Drytrons here. I'm not playing Prosperity, but I do a Prosperity version. And in the Pot of Prosperity version, I'll be showcasing my Patreon today on a, in a whole other video if you guys want to see the version with Prosperity. But 10 Drytrons. Actually, you play 19 Drytrons because Fafnir, Terraforming, and Foolish get you Nova slash one of these. This, this does kind of look like you're playing 5 Nova. But if you have Nova, obviously Fafnir will search for Meteonis. Then you get your Zeta to search for Dawn of the Herald if you didn't open the prep. So it's completely fine. This is so consistent, it's actually insane. 19 Drytrons, you never brick. Then you play 9 ways into Ben 10 with Ben 10 as well, 10. Actually, play 25 ways to Ben 10 because look at how many ways you have to Ben 10. That's why Ben 10 should have been banned. You have 3 Alpha. Look at this. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. You have 3 Alpha, 3 Nova, 3 Emergency. That's 9. Fafnir, 10. Terraforming, 11. 12. Foolish. They so have 12 ways to Alpha through the Drytrons. You have uh, 12 ways to Ben 10 through the Drytrons. You have these nine, uh, 6 ways into Ben 10 here. So this is 18 ways to Ben 10. Ben 10 itself, this is 19 ways to Ben 10. And if we really want to play extra foolish, there's tw uh, like 2 extra foolishes. That's 21 fucking ways to Ben 10. And if you play Prosperity, that's 24 ways to Ben 10. You can play double Fafnir, triple Fafnir, 26 ways to Ben 10 if you really want. So there's 26 fucking Ben 10s. There's not one Ben 10. Ben 10 should have been banned. This was a huge mistake by Konami. But it's fine. I guess they wanted Drytron to run rampant for a little longer. And that's fine. I, ben 10's getting banned next ban list. Bank on it. Uh, so this is the whole idea behind it. You need to play at least four rituals. I think uh, opening prep and pre-prep together. Or pre-prep and like a way to Ben 10. It's literally just an FTK. You just auto win if you open these together. So it's worth the brick of Dawn of the Herald. As well it gives you a second ritual spell. So I don't even consider it that much of a brick. Helps you summon Herald of Perfection very easily. As you read the card here, it says, You must also tribute monsters from your hand or field. The fact that you can also do it from field is very helpful, as you guys saw in my comment tutorial. Especially when you use Diviner's Effect to make it level 6. Uh, it's it's actually insane. Uh, in fact, I didn't even use the effect of special level 2 or lower fairy. It says if this card is tributed, you can special summon a level 2 or lower fairy from your deck. So I, could, I didn't even do that, because I literally just didn't know you could do that. That's fucking insane. Like... It's actually crazy. What the, and on top of that, you, if this card, if if when Herald of Perfection Ritual Summon, you could banish this card from your grave, then target one of the monsters in the graveyard that was tributed for the Ritual Summon, return it that target to your hand. It's actually insane how good this is. All these cards are insane. Uh, I understand you could possibly break on these, but the like, it's just so good. If your opponent triple hand traps you, you just go into this side deck. Now you got triple Droll, triple Mine, double Demise of the Land, triple Droplets. I'm siding. Nine of these against uh, against the mirror match. Droplets becomes way better in the mirror match now because Ava's at one. It obviously is not insane, insane, but it it's like it's a little better. Definitely the worst matchup is the mirror match. Mystic Mind and Demise of the Line is good against the meta. Uh, no one's expecting because you're playing because you're playing uh, Drytron. No one's siding backer removal against you. So the Mystic Mind and Demise of the Line is going to be insane. The only card they're going to have against you is Imperial Order, which should have been banned, but whatever. And nonetheless, it's actually insane what this deck could do going second as well. Against Backward decks, you got Triple Twin and Reboot. As far as Extra Decks is concerned, I'm not playing uh, the level 1 win that is uh, the bird one that you, you could go into Zeus with. Over that, I'm playing Double Fafnir. I think it's better in the grind game. I'm playing 6 Links over here, as you see. I'm not playing Appaloosa because Mascarena and Verte are just plenty. And... One Nithis, double Herald, all these come up. And that's the deck, guys. I think this deck is... I honestly think this deck's insane. I think that after Pendulums, this is the best deck. And honestly, if I'm being honest with you guys, everything else is fucking trash. I'm going to be doing a top 5 meta decks video. And after these two decks, after Drytron and Pen Magician, every other deck is trash, bro. <laughs> like, they're trash. Like, Tri Brigade will have to be third, probably. Because of tankies at one. I just, I'm off the top. Obviously, I'll change it when it comes. But all they did for Tri Brigade is tanky at one. And you can't play Zodiacs in it anymore. Big deal. Big whoop. Big whoop, bro. Big deal. And then Prank Kids is pretty fucking unplayable. One meow meow. They lose to one hand trap. Cross out Designator is going to help Prank Kids a lot. Uh, like, a lot. So, those are definitely the three best decks. Those are, in my eyes, the three best decks. And there's going to be a lot of random decks after that. Like, Shadal Invoke the Medica, Dragon Link. These decks went untouched. I think they're going to be a lot more powerful, this ban list. I think, yeah, those are the two decks that have been played the most this format that literally went untouched. So I think those are going to be very good, actually. And I want to just showcase you guys the deck I'll be discussing on Patreon today. It's the version with Prosperity. In this version, 
I opt for more hand traps on the side deck. I'm going to discuss exactly why. I do think hand traps are ass because of uh, cross out designator. So I'm probably just going to remove all hand traps from the side deck completely when that card comes out. But the idea of this, I'm going to discuss on Patreon, obviously. So you guys can check that if you want. But Prosperity, yes, it conflicts with Delta. But the fact that Prosperity can guarantee you, search you, whatever you need. Whether it be pre-prep, prep, alpha, diviner, if you want an Ava or a Herald in hand. Whatever the heck you want. It gets you so it's really cool and it does conflict with the delta but typically the card you add is so powerful that you don't even give a fuck about the delta and foolish does lose the cycle reader more but i'm pretty sure people will stop playing hand traps when cross it doesn't it comes out i don't know they'll still play it but whatever it's a good consistency card anyways that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this video as you guys already know dry chart second best deck and if you guys got this far just smash the subscribe button smash the like button let me know in the comments if you agree that, Dry that, that Ava literally to one does nothing. Check out the beautiful Magician Playmat in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.